Hello and thank you for watching VSTricks.com, trick number two. Today's trick is a video repost of Sarah Ford's originally published tip number two back in July of 2007. The tip is block select or column select. Uh, so typically if you want to select something in Visual Studio, you can double click it with the mouse, you can double click then drag and drop, uh, or many of you are used to using your keyboard. So control shift, left, right, uh, will select a word and then naturally uh, you have shift up and down to do a line select. Now if we introduce the alt key, watch what happens. Shift, alt, left, doesn't look like anything big is happening there, but now as I go up and down, I can do a block select. So the keystroke combination is shift plus alt, and if you just do shift, alt, down, that starts doing a line select until you go left or right, and then that gives you a block select. Uh, one thing I found, you can also do an alt drag and drop with your mouse. So you can uh, highlight a block of text by just holding down the alt key first and then starting a drag and drop. Now what's interesting is after you have this selected, you can do a cut, control X, and then based on where your cursor is, you can do a control paste, which will do a block paste as well. So if we get back to just control Z all the way back to the beginning, I can actually cut this and then paste it right back into the same position or if for some reason you need to uh, paste it into a different position of the line that works as well.